Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I am getting ready for work. I feel like I haven't vlogged in so long. Happy belated Easter. Yesterday was Easter and now it is a Monday after break, after spring break, and we are heading back to work. And honestly, I love my job, so I'm not like upset about it. But you know, breaks are nice. Breaks are very nice. And I would have loved to have today off, especially like after Easter. Not that we were out like, actually we were out pretty late last night because we had to go to my family and then to Billy's family. So we probably didn't get home until around like 9.30. And then I pretty much just went right to bed. I washed my face and went right to bed because I knew I had to like be up and like at him today, so. But today's video is going to be coming back after a break from school. We were in South Carolina all week last week. If you watched the last two videos, you would know that Billy and I are moving to South Carolina. And I know some of you probably have like a lot of questions. <laughs> so if you have any questions, you can comment them down below and we'll be filming like a video answering all of your questions because I know it sounds crazy. I can't believe it either, but yeah. So I'm getting ready for work. I'm going to try to get there a little early today. We have our morning reading groups as per usual. So I have to get there early anyway, because those start at 8.30. And then I'm probably going to get there around like 7.45, 8-ish. Just to kind of get my stuff together. I pretty much set up everything on Friday before I left for spring break. Because I always like to do that. So everything should be pretty much ready to go. But I just have to like look over my plans, what I'm actually teaching, and everything like that. My house tour is going live today. I'm so excited to share that with you guys. I love my house in South Carolina, obviously. Um, but yeah. So, craziness. Craziness. But we had fun in South Carolina. I only vlogged like the first half because then Billy's mom came for the second half of the trip. And I wasn't about to start recording when she was there. And we were just doing like random things around the house. We had to fix um, like our washing machine tray and um, the outdoor outlets had to be fixed or not even fixed. We just had to turn them on. And I don't know, just a bunch of like random little things that I didn't really need to like record anything. Um, our towel rack was fixed because that was kind of like wonky. But just like a little, couple little things. But we are back in New York now. The traffic was absolutely terrible when we hit New York, of course. Like, I'm not surprised. But it was so bad. We were supposed to get home at like 8. We didn't wind up getting home until like 9.30. Which, of course, is always fun. On like the last leg of the trip, you don't want to be stuck in traffic. You just want to get home. But it was all good. We made it home safe. That's all I care about. And yesterday for Easter, we celebrated with our families, so that was nice. Just a lot going on lately in life, but it is all good things. So, yeah. Now I'm just getting ready for work. I just got a parent square from a parent, at, literally as we speak, a message from a parent. So I guess I have to read that. They're probably asking if school starts back up today. I think on the agenda for school today, is let's think what do we have i have no idea guys absolutely no idea i'm thinking i can't remember what flowers we're talking about i think for ela um we do like thematic units for ela so i kind of like pick random things and then we talk about those i can talk about nonfiction and fiction text based off of those things and then of course I spill in a couple of other things throughout the year. Foundations, I think we're almost testing. Sorry, my brush like sheds on me. Look at this. Um, I think we're a couple days away from testing in foundations. I think that's happening at some point. I don't really know. <laughs> this is why I have to get there early, just to look over everything. I mean, I set everything up when I left on Friday. 
but yeah, that's the dealio. Billy and I have been starting to wedding plan a little bit more. There's just like a lot going on. We're getting married in August. We are moving this summer. There's just like so much. So if you have any questions, let me know. I was gonna say something else. I forgot what it was. I'm getting back in the grind. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Normally I meal prep, so like my thing. This is like my thing. I meal prep every weekend for the following week. So <clears throat> normally I pick like two to three meals and I meal prep them. Lately, Billy's been wanting only like a meat and veggie because we're trying to like get wedding, sh what, wedding, trying to get our wedding bods. <laughs> Why was that so hard for me to say? So he's been like only really wanting like vegetables and some sort of meat, which is fine, but I can't eat that every day. So lately I have like having like food aversions and I don't like know why because I'm hungry, I've been working out more, so I need to eat more. But lately I just like haven't been like feeling it. <laughs> like, I don't know. But anyways, so my solution to that is to instead of meal prepping, like two meals, I'm gonna actually like cook a meal every day like normal people do. So I planned out the meals for this week, which I'm super excited for. I'm not telling Billy, I'm gonna keep it a surprise, but today I'm making chicken, not chicken, chicken enchiladas? Chicken enchiladas, I think, I don't know. And I'm super excited for that. I think they're gonna be good. Is it ch chicken enchiladas? I have literally have no idea what I'm making, it's a problem. But I'm super excited. I think I picked out some good meals this week. I know one week is like sliders or something like that, which I love. So, yeah. It is going to be a good week because I'm doing my mascara on camera. But I'm going to finish up my makeup. I don't really have to do my hair because I ran the blow dryer brush through it yesterday. So I didn't wash it or anything. Yeah, I'm pretty much done getting ready. I'm gonna go change. It's supposed to be warm today. It's actually supposed to be warm all week. And then I'm gonna head off to school and I will talk to you when I'm there with all the craziness of going back after a long break. I'm in my classroom. So many things are going on in here that I need to address. <laughs> but we're gonna do it together. I am just taking out my computer so I can turn that on. Haven't touched it all week. <laughs> Do I have anything else in there? No, I left my charger here. Okay. Um, I also bought this book, Billy's. Um, Billy and his mom went through like their attic because like obviously we're gonna be moving and whatnot. So they've been going through our attic and they found so many books like perfect for like first grade, which I'm so excited about for my library. But I think I'm gonna save them for next year because I would have to make new labels, whatever. But this book was one of them like there's like a lot of books but i just pulled this one because you know it's spring and yeah so i'm gonna just put it over there by my flower book because i'm sure that they talk about flowers in here but i'm just unpacking my thing fell down again which i'm not surprised about but it's just there's like so many things going on in here that I'm very confused about. I'm also getting a new student today. Just remembered that. So much to do, but let me log in to my computer because I'm pretty sure they're doing a password change. There we go. They're doing a password change. So I'm pretty sure I need to do something for that. So far, it's not telling me I have to change my password. Okay. Um, I'm celebrating birthdays today. I have a new star student, of course, this week. There's a lot, a lot when you come back from a break. Turning everything on. Today's not the day. Let's change my password. Today is not the day. I will make an irrational decision for my password change, and I can't have that on the agenda today is foundations is day three of week three in unit 10 and word of the day is planted we're doing trick words okay that's a fairly s generic day like that's really nothing crazy and then 
for math, we're doing comparing values of two two-digit numbers. Rosa carries 24 books, Ryan carries 37. Who carries more books? Okay. There are 28 soccer balls or 31 footballs. Draw to compare the number of balls. Okay. That's fairly simple to start with today as well. Can't complain about that. ELA is introduction to flowers. We're gonna read the tiny seed, which I thought I had the actual book. I know I do, I've seen it. I don't know where it is now. I know I have it somewhere, but I'll just pull it up on YouTube and we can watch the video. But I like that more anyway. And then we're just gonna make a circle map about flowers so that we can add that to our A to Z list. So we can get some words up there. And then just regular daily five, they have gym today. I meet with my mentee. I should be getting a new student. Oh boy. Sometimes I'm just pulling out my slides. I don't have ELA slides. I have my morning slides up, talking out loud. I have my spelling words for the week. I don't know if they're backwards for you. But our spelling words are rented, renting, planted, twisting, our, out, and about. So those are some words they can tap, and then some words that are trick words that <clears throat> we can't really tap. All right, let's get the show on the road. I have to put, take you along. I have to put my birthdays out. So who's my star student this week? I'm gonna go put my star student's thing on her desk. Almost done with star students, which I'm so happy about. Everyone gets a chance to be a star student, but I just am over it. I'm concluding that I have such bad allergies. Birthdays are done. I have to fix that. That's the thing that fell. And I fix it all the time, but it never stays up. So I don't know what to do about that. Just retape it and hope for the best. Also going to fix this. Where's my pointer? Why am I having such big problems? Things are just falling. So I'm just putting them back up with my little pointer guy. I'll open up my windows. Mm, it's nice out. Okay, <clears throat> I need to fix that. But also we got these big old boxes. I am apparently in charge of science. I don't know how that happened. Not in charge of it, but like. Okay, I love this today. It's gonna be a great day, I can feel it. All right, let me fix that, but I'm gonna use heavy duty tape like I normally do. It doesn't really do anything anyway, unless I should use like tack. I don't know if I have tack though. I do somewhere, but I'm not about to look for it. All right, let me put you somewhere where you can actually see. What else do I need to do? Birthdays, star student. I have to water my plant. Poor girl, hasn't had water in like two weeks. I have to fix this thing because it's falling off. This is the day of my hectic morning, okay? That didn't make sense. What else, what did I just say? Water my plant, okay, gonna do that. First, let me take out my stuff, my papers for today. Oh, just homework? Just homework. I love when I don't have worksheets to hand out or do anything with. Anyways, I have a watering pot and I'm gonna go fill it up. I'm taking you all around town today. This is life after a break. There's lots to do and I don't know what to do with those science boxes. So you don't have room for them. My plant has gotten so big. I'm gonna put my flower, my season book up here. Right there. That's a good spot for her. 
Okay, what else? I need to connect my computer. And I think that's it. And I think I'm ready. I don't know. I feel like I'm rushing, but I have no reason to rush. The only thing I have on my calendar for today is to celebrate my two students' birthdays. One's birthday was yesterday and one's birthday was Friday. So, or... Oh, one's birthday was Friday and one's birthday was Saturday. So those are the only things that I'm doing today as far as like things that I need to get done. My, what am I, what am I doing? Get it together, get it together. I have to teach 22 first graders later, 23, I have a new student. <gasps> okay, but I have my chocolate milk cause I'm a child and I have to do something with these boxes take down those chairs and then I'm gonna go run and get these materials for my new students. I will probably talk to you when I am on prep today. I'm on prep now. It is 11.38. So my new student came in today. She's great. She's a doll. I'm having her do some star testing and then um, the benchmarking on I ready or the diagnostic on I ready it's called and we'll see where she's at kind of in those areas um, I could tell she's <clears throat> following along well in math and I like asked her I was like did you learn this in your old school like she was able to draw tens and ones <clears throat> I don't know what's happening to my voice and she said that she learned it in her other school so at least she's doing keeping up with that and reading um, I have to do like a running record on her and see but i'm having her do her star testing first so we'll play it by ear and see like what level she's on where i can group i put her in and everything like that but yeah so so far we did foundations foundations was good um it was just a lot of like new words so they had like a new word of the day and three new trick words so we were just practicing those and then math was really really good i was actually very very happy with them because they were all able to draw tens and ones um, for like the number like 28 or 31 or something like that. Like they were all able to do that, um, which I was very happy about because I feel like that's a hard concept. But today, coming back from a break, they, they did it. So I was very happy with that. And now they're off at gym. When they come back, they're, some of them are going to be getting pulled out for their services. And I will be pulling groups and they do their own um, book clubs so I'm excited for that I think that that'll be good actually during that time I can um, benchmark my new student and see where she's at um, yeah and then we're gonna go to lunch and after lunch we're going to do ELA and then daily five and then that'll be the end of the day I think I'm gonna eat like a little bit of a chocolate snack because I'm not like hungry, but just a little something to hold me over until I get to lunch. I brought leftovers from like the Easter dinner that we had yesterday. So I'm excited for that. It would be like a nice hearty meal, a piece of ham, some veggies, some potatoes. Um, so I'm excited for my lunch today. I'm not drinking enough water. I need to do that. <laughs> um, also, I'm so sorry. You're going to see this later. So the video will already be fixed. But the house tour, for some reason, somebody commented on my video. So thank you for commenting that... At like the nine minute mark, it goes black and I checked on mine too and it does and I don't know like why that happened. I have literally no idea. Something I guess maybe when it was exporting. But so I'm going to, I can't obviously do it now. I don't have my other computer with me, but I'm going to like fix it and re-export it and it'll hopefully be up by the end of the day today or hopefully tomorrow. Um, but there is a short up about the house tour. So I don't know what happened there, but thank you to the person that commented that it was not working because I would have not, I wouldn't have known. Um, obviously it was fine. Like when I was watching it back, but I guess, I don't know when I uploaded to YouTube, it probably just stopped. I don't know what happened to it. I'm trying to like organize things for my new student because I want to make her feel as welcome as possible. I can't imagine like. Well, I was a new student before I, I did have that problem um, but like just coming in like halfway through the school year and just you know I don't know but anyways so I'm trying to like get her acclimated to the classroom so today I actually went over all of the classroom expectations with the whole class right before we started math and I have to say they're doing very well but I do have a lot of students absent today 
which they're not like none of my students are really like problem students but a lot of them are more of like the chattier ones or the ones that take longer to like get things going and stuff like that so i think that's kind of why the day is moving very slow like, very smoothly but i don't know it is what it is you know i love all my students but yeah my new student is great so far so i'm very happy very blessed to have a new student that you know doesn't mess things up when they come into the classroom <laughs> after work today i don't think i'm going to the gym because now hear me out i want to start working out at home and like previously i didn't like working out at home because i just felt like why would i want to work out at home if i can just sit on my couch at home you know so like i wanted to like get out and go to the gym but i'm really starting to like not be a fan of the gym not that i'm not a fan of the gym i shouldn't say that because i do like the gym but sometimes i just like want to try new things or honestly like i want my 15 pound weights and i can't use my 15 pound weights because somebody's using them like it's just little things like that where i'm kind of just like very it's like a little annoying um but it is what it is it's not like anyone's fault there's just not enough weights and people need the same weights as me or whatever so i don't know but sometimes i want to like try new things and like I'm like too scared to do that when there's so many people around or like god forbid i can get a squat rack at the gym like that doesn't ever happen because there's only like five of them and or yeah maybe five of them and i can't ever get one because they're always full a bench can't get a bench would love a bench can't get one <laughs> um so just little things like that so i've been working out at home and it's been going well but we're gonna really kick it into high gear because last week we're on vacation but we did work out on vacation which was good so i'm really i'm ready to kick it into high gear eating my fun dinners this week i don't know what is good with my hair and yeah that's the update on my life crazy monday back from break that's what i should title this uh, vlog crazy monday back from break <laughs> Hello everybody, I just wanted to update you, it's the next day. My eyes look so dark underneath, oh well. I wanted to update you before I end this video um, and just let you know how the day ended yesterday. So I did get a new student, she was great. The day went fine, honestly. I'm trying to, like we reviewed our expectations yesterday and they really did good, but I did have a lot of students absent. Not necessarily students that like needed the reminders so i don't think it'll affect the class that much but i do think like the falling over those expectations really helped them but i'm trying to be more i don't know like conscious of what i'm saying not that i was not conscious of what i was saying but i want my conversations with my kiddos to be productive and helpful and i think that they are like pretty much for the most part but sometimes i'm like and I'm, this is like very honestly i'm quick to like maybe dismiss them or and by that i mean like you know if they're trying to tell me something or do something and i'm like we're not doing that right now like if they're off task like instead of you know let's go come on type thing i am trying to be more productive in my conversations with them i'm just trying to be more conscious of our conversations that we're having and yeah i think we have good conversations anyway but you know it doesn't hurt to just be a little bit more conscious of what you're saying so i tried to really focus on that yesterday which was good and they responded well you know when those situations came up so um yeah i had a birthday we celebrated one birthday yesterday the other student was not here whose birthday was over the um, break that we weren't here so hopefully he comes in today so we can get his little goodie bag and I'm trying to think my new star student wasn't even here yesterday i am going to end this video here because that was my day yesterday on monday today is tuesday so i'm not gonna be vlogging today because there's a lot going on i hope that you enjoyed my first day back from spring break my crazy day it felt crazy but it was not that bad <laughs> but yeah i hope that you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video bye